All right, so today I have a special product to review. These are the button boxes from Simubox, the Porsche RSR button boxes. I have two here because one was the prototype that Antonio from Simubox made for me and the other one is a closer to production version. And we're gonna go through and review them in a second. But before that, just I just wanna talk a bit about why I got this button box. As you probably know, if you followed my Porsche GT3R immersion project where I set up my entire rig to look as close as possible to a Porsche GT3 racing car, you will know that I've already created a steering wheel for the GT3R car and I have other bits in there, um, like for example the race logic replica, I've set up everything in my cockpit to look as much as the interior of a GT3 R Porsche car. And the one thing that was missing, which is kind of for me is a central piece, is a similar button box to what the one that you can find in the car. Now, there are a few versions of this in the actual racing car. There's an RSR version and then there's the GT3 R version. This is closer to the RSR. I think the GT3 R doesn't have the carbon fiber finish and the buttons are a bit different arranged a tiny bit but they they're very very similar so i could definitely fool people with uh, with this button box like that so that's why i got it that, that that that's the reason why i got this button box it sits central in my cockpit it makes it look a lot more like a cockpit it covers a few areas and um, yeah it gives it that really immersive feel that you're in an actual racing car where you don't see just a line of the screen you have a lot of things around which includes the button box for this specific project i contacted antonio from simbox i knew antonio because he has a, an ebay profile where he sells 3d printed parts for sim racing and i got a phone holder for my DD1 that goes on my uh, top of my DD1 from him. I made a review of how to use a SIM hub dashboard on the cheaps with your phone and a holder like that. So go, you can go and check that, that one out. But yeah, so we were in touch because of that. And I basically asked him, uh, I told him that I want to create a Porsche interior. He showed me, he already had a very, very rough mock-up of this button box so you know i was like i've seen it and i was like man can you please do it for me i really need that button box so he got to work now again he was mainly focused on the uh, other 3d parts that he's has a business of so um it took a bit of time to do this prototype but i think he's starting to focus more on button boxes now as well so you'll you'll hear a lot more from uh, Simu box around button boxes. He, he's also creating some other GT replicas. I think he has an Audi one, AMG one. So yeah, once I put his uh, link down below in the in the video, um, his website is under development. Once he has his website, you will see a lot more uh, models there. And I think that's one of the, the special things about his products and especially the button boxes. You don't get the you you have various types of button boxes out there. You can get the small few buttons that you can attach on the side, which is just a just a square box with a bunch of buttons and switches and toggles. Then you have the ones that attach to the wheel on the sides. And I had a model like that previously from Derek Spears Design. I, I have a review of that as well, which are quite nice just looks like a command center to put it like that but not super realistic to what you get in the gt cars and that's what i wanted i wanted authenticity i wanted to replicate as much as possible so he's making these kind of car replica button boxes which i i, I think is super cool but the reason why i have two of them as i mentioned these are and i'll put them here so you can see them better there's there's the prototype that i've had done initially and i've actually used this in my rig for for a bit it looks really neat and then there's the final 
I, I wouldn't say the final version. There's still some few very, very small tweaks to be done, but this, this one is the closest to production. So there are a few differences between the prototype. The prototype was um, hydro dipped while this is wrapped. I honestly think that the wrap looks a lot better. It looks a lot more realistic. Let me make sure that this is in view. Looks a lot more realistic than uh, the hydro dip one. There's also a bit of imperfections on the hydro dip one. Well, this is very, very clean, as you will see. And, and, and I've shown this before. There's a bit of a, you know, marks here. So it, it, it was a bit a test to put it like that with the hydro dipping. The final version comes with uh, a wrap, which looks a lot better. Now he can also do two types of carbon wraps, one that's mate and one that's glossy. This is the, the mate version. Other than that, in terms of differences, oh, I have a cap missing here. So this the prototype wasn't without this. I, I'm, I'm missing the cap here. Some other differences that you can visibly see on these, you'll, you'll notice that this has some black stickers on the buttons here while these other ones are colored now in the rsr this is the authentic look and feel the rsr has these black covers here but to be honest when i saw the buttons without and i think on the production one he's planning to do them without the the black uh, cover they look a lot better and you know authenticity yes authenticity but I feel that this doesn't look uh, bad at all. So yeah, some other differences, which again, uh, I think is gonna come back to, to the final model. The, the prototype had this line here. Like if you ever seen the, the real one, it has this side here with the rotaries, which is a bit angled towards the driver. Now, I think that would be extremely difficult to do on a print, 3D printed box. So, he the he made this surface flat because again it would be difficult to make a, a box which there's a flat surface and then there's an angle one here but he made this uh this ridge here this line that makes it look closer to that now this one doesn't have it but the final version antonio tells me is going to get the ridge back the other some other differences to the production one, which i don't necessarily like but i've talked to antonio already about this and he might change it uh this so one on the prototype this wire this uh, coiled usb wire was too short right it's very short so the coiled cable is short he made it longer on the production one but it's just a regular usb cable is not coiled and to be honest i don't like this that much i feel that coiled is better because you know you can plug it and you don't have dangly wires one you don't have to strap them if you have extra length and even this seems a bit short this length it really depends where you have your pc but if you have your pc very far away from the the rig and it's not just there at the edge you're still gonna need an extender I, I definitely need an extender so i think if i were to choose between this length straight and this length coiled i would choose the coiled one because at the end of the day i have an extension uh, cord now another thing that you will notice is the thickness difference and the production one is going to be a tiny bit thicker this is the production one that's the prototype because he chose to go with wires inside here the, those special type of wires that uh, i don't know how they're called that you don't solder so this one has the wire solder this has the special ones that have pins and you attach them directly so basically the the ends of them will be taller so he had to make the box taller as well so this is this is how the production version will look in terms of the the thickness versus this the other thing that i've noticed i don't know if it's by design or no but um on the prototype one he has his uh, name engraved simu box well on the production one it doesn't but i think i don't think that's by um uh, by design i think uh, again as i mentioned he's still tweaking a few things for the production one uh, pro you're probably going to get his name 
um, on the back anyways. The quality of the material is great on both of them. On both of the boxes. I need to be careful not to squash the cables here. Um, the build is great. I don't have anything to complain. There's not things dangling or things that are coming apart. So that's really good. It's nice nicely printed plastic um so again i don't have anything to to report on that and they feel sturdy so they don't feel um flimsy or so they, he did print quite sturdy thickness on 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 the plastic now the inputs quality i really like some of the inputs but not all of them i think the the buttons should be the same there are 16 square momentary push buttons and they feel really good I think there's this they're the same buttons on both yeah both feel really nice to to click they're very you know proper you can feel the click uh, really really nicely you have one toggle switch with a safety cover they're exactly the same and I use this for the um, to start uh, for the ignition stuff uh, I have I have as you can see I use the prototype so far so i have the ignition and then start here you have a 19 millimeter uh, emergency button here which is this nice red metal which again feels pretty nice to clip and you have a 12 millimeter button with a uh, safety cover this one here again this one feels quite nice to the to the touch it is plastic while this feels metal but again, it's it's all good. Now, the one thing that I've no that I'm noticing on the production one, maybe this is something that Antonio can can look at. There's a tiny, tiny bit of flex. Not not much that you would be bothered by, but a tiny bit more than with where we had the prototype, and that might be because of the the thickness and how things are arranged. But again, it's not something very noticeable. But when I look at the the, the this face uh, cover here, this seems a tiny, tiny bit more flexy. There are five rotary encoders. These are very easy to click to to go back and forth. And this is one of the things that I don't like about rotaries. That it's the same on my on my wheel. They're very soft to the switch, so it's very easy. If you don't pay attention to your screen to your dash for example i have here traction control and abs it's very easy for me to skip two steps or three so if i'm only trying to to change one step then it's it's nearly impossible while driving to do that when you're moving around especially with motion to be as fine-tuned now uh, antonio told me that you can actually configure um this to four pulses instead of one so that when you move it's actually it doesn't move um that much right so you'd need to do three or four like that to change once rather than doing very micro so i might wind up doing that with this box now what's powering this is a leo bodnar board uh bbi 32 motherboard unlike the arduino boxes the leo bodnar has a separate input for each button which should be better the other thing is it's completely plug and play you don't need to program anything now when i installed this upstairs it was strictly just usb power it and then i opened acc and there it was just ready to go um click on the button to assign whatever i want the the box itself as i mentioned is a pretty nice quality 3d print it is pla carbon fiber from sunlu which makes the box a lot stronger than other plastics i already mentioned about the difference where this was hydro dipped but um, the final one comes with a wrap i think is better hydro dipping if you're not a professional in it is very easy to screw up from from what i understand and on the back they're identical so you have a five threaded mounting for screws and it comes with, with the screws as well. Now, I use this up in my rig. I have an arm, like a aluminum profile arm, where at the ends of it, I've mounted L-shaped brackets. And those L-shaped brackets um, 
fit into these two here so that keeps it in place and I can adjust it nice and, I, and I've attached it to the leg of the rig um, which I can adjust the height if I don't like it and so on also another thing to mention these boxes I feel that Antonio has done a brilliant job I don't want to brag him for I'm not going to brag him for no reason he's done a brilliant job he put a lot of effort and passion into this project so I really appreciate that because he knew also how because he knew also how important it is for me to have this button box as uh, uh, as close to the replica as possible so he worked really hard he's really hard working he puts a lot of dedication and he's also a perfectionist well what what I've noticed unlike me I'm like oh, yeah it has a scratch there on the prototype just leave it send it to me I think he redone this box several times to get it perfect I think over the last period he also accumulated a lot of knowledge about printing boxes which is awesome I'm pretty sure that you know if you want a button box like this or the OD or the MG he's gonna do a brilliant job and you're gonna get a, a very polished product because you know he spent the last several months just iterating uh, constantly to get a, a product that's you know feels pro polished and premium now worth mentioning uh, it also comes with stickers so there are stickers on this one which I put so it, it comes he sends you two sizes of the stickers so as you, you probably will notice some of these are bigger like for example there's wipers there and then there's there's the the, the smaller version and you can assign whatever you want I've not assigned everything just yet what I'm planning to do is and I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna keep the uh, the prototype or the production one I'll see how it looks on my rig I think the, the, the production one will look a lot better especially because of the buttons because they're colored and it might bring a bit more of the tone of the light and color in my rig because this was a bit too too dark but what I've set up was as I mentioned this is ignition this is start for me I don't have anything yet here I don't I've not put anything in the second row and then I have pit limiter here wipers and lights and then for the for the lights um, I also have uh, this one set up no, not for the life sorry for the wipers I have this one set up which basically increases the speed or decreases the speed of the wipers down here I have traction control and ABS what I'm also planning to do um, is set up some more functions here now before I got the YOLO box um, to for streaming I was con considering a, of having these down here to control the stream you can do that so if you have OBS there are there are tools that you can use to map buttons from this to OBS to switch the view or anything that you want to do so that's pretty cool especially because it has you know 16 of them so you have 16 buttons here to use for whatever you want and then you can also use comms um, I think the second row the yellow ones I'm gonna use for comms to communicate um, during the race uh, and such so yeah plenty of real estate plenty of buttons for you to play with also I don't uh, I'm not 100% sure of the price you have to check the price out when uh, it goes on the website when the website goes live and, and the, the products are listed but what I can tell you is that it's not gonna cost you uh, an arm and a leg there are button boxes out there for for example there, there's a replica of the Porsche cup one the slim one and they're like something like five hundred dollars or something like that you're not gonna pay that much money for these so that's a good sign if you want one before he lists on the website uh, these products let me know and I can put you in touch with Antonio and I'm sure he will help you out so that's about it I'm gonna show you a few shots from uh, uh, from the rig with the prototype and I'm gonna try to mount this as well I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sure I'm, we're gonna hear a lot more from Simo Box. I might review some of their some some of his uh, products in the future as well he's a talented guy and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any other suppliers manufacturers any other people that do uh, replicas of GT button boxes put it down in the comments below and I'll have a look as well and uh, yeah thank you for watching and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video